Hello and welcome back in another sheet metal workshop. And this is sheet metal machines part two. And in part two, I have uh, almost complete or already complete as good as I can the workshop. I have here a new machine. It's a guillotine. It's to cut sheet metal. It's also a new machine. So this is the one I'm going to use to cut metal. And the second machine I have is also a bending machine where I have those segments up and down, I can pull out each other one by one and maybe bend some difficult angles or difficult bendings, what you normally cannot do with a normal bending machine. Now, uh, I have planned to make something, I'm gonna make something easy, it's just just a little bit for those who are not familiar with those machines. So I'm gonna do it this time in the easy thing. And I'm gonna make a stainless steel rectangle top made of this sheet metal. So this is here an oversized table. I have here 1250 millimeter by two meter. So it's an oversized stainless steel sheet metal one millimeter, millimeter thickness now on this guillotine so if i want I, I need a size i don't want to cut size i already write down the sizes so i need 1320 by 620 millimeter so first i'm going to cut here the 620 to the half Therefore, if I'm moving this here for the sizes, I have here also sizes here in, and if I go to the maximum, so I, I've reached the maximum, and if I then look at the maximum here is 570 and a little bit more, so if I measure it, we have here a maximum cut size from 580 millimeter. Yeah. But I need 620. That means four centimeter or 40 millimeter is too short. So what, what do you do in this situation? That is also why I'm doing this in this video. I made myself metal. It looks like a Z. And, well, if I put this metal here on... This is fast. For a moment, I'm gonna put, in my, put on my gloves. So I'm just gonna push this down. It is just a method to show if you want to cut oversized sheet metal what you can do so you can cut always the size you want okay this is now fast so I need 620 so now I have a longer measure so I'm gonna go back I have here exactly 620 and we go to the behind okay wait a minute here I don't have 620 that means I have to a little bit push this here and again 620 620 and that is though the size. Okay, now let's cut the metal. So this is what you can do if you have a small workshop made of, out of two containers and you have to work with stainless steel one millimeter and you just have a guillotine, a hand guillotine you can cut. This is one millimeter stainless steel. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, now I have 
here this thing I can push this a little bit down so my metal won't move and when I cut it I'm pulling this knife a little bit to myself So now I'm going to push this metal in front and again Now the final cut comes It's going to be with both hands So the next size I need, so we're going to check this out, we're going to check it out, what this is controlling. Okay, six hundred. The other side. Okay, six hundred and twenty. Now the next size I need to cut is the one thousand three hundred and twenty. Well, this one is 1320, so I'm just going to mark this here. So I don't need, really need this anymore, so I'm going to move this away, it won't disturb. So this is something you can make easy. Because I was anyway cutting an oversized metal, so it was a good thing also to show in this video. For those who doesn't know about this. Okay, so the top, so we're going to cut out here those four edges and bend this 90 degrees above and then also make an, how you say that, a beading, bending, something like that. I still have problems with expressing me in English on this term. So we're going 60. Wait, we're gonna see which side is inside, which outside is. It doesn't really matter, so we're gonna use this one is the inside 60 by 60, and then I'm gonna have 20 millimeters overlap, or 15 is enough, 15, so 45. So we're going to do this in each corner, 60 by 60 millimeter, 45, so I'm going to cut this out.
one centimeter, we're gonna fold over and press it. So, so this is the first corner, and that's what we're gonna do with all, all side of all other corners. I mean, this is really an easy thing to show. It's more about cutting and bending, introducing the workshop. Okay, now that's done. So I'm just gonna, uh -huh. this one also, almost forgot. And if somebody is interested in stainless steel, you can always put a message in the description down on there somewhere and we will see or I will see what we can do to make that happen. Okay now we go now to the bigger bending machine. I put this in because it's oversized I'm gonna do first the smaller part. And then we're gonna bend it complete 180 degrees then we're gonna squeeze it And on the longer side comes because if I do first the long side and then the short side then well it's going to be difficult because if it is bended over it can give a small break in it so that's to avoid that we're going to do also first the short side and a second time the longer side So 
and I'm just gonna hammer this corner a little bit. this break here there's a break in this bending machine here so it holds so when I move this you see it comes back Same here, a little bit, just to get a sharper edge. Okay, almost. The bending machine is the other new machine. So I'm gonna move it a little bit forward. Okay, so these have those segments and I'm going to see how much I need. Okay, well I'm going to move this one. This I'm going to move. possible to make this in here okay I have to open this edge this one is already a little bit open here it's gonna be a little bit open so I'm gonna open the other one also with a screwdriver so this this piece part comes in here same thing other side Okay. Oh. Just like that. Okay, maybe a little bit with a hammer. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I need some, I made myself here something like that. It's just a piece of wood with wheels under it. So, you know, I can move it how I want it. It's easier also to work. Okay. 
So, the next thing, because I'm not a welder normally, you could also weld this piece, but as a sheet metal worker for insulation, we do it another way. You put pop needs in it. So I'm gonna do this in every corner. Okay, that's it. It's done. Here it looks from the inside. That's the top from stainless steel. I mean, it looks easy to do, but it's still a hard work to make it. Okay, guys, well, that's it. The worksheet metal workshop machines video are complete. So I show from every machine, everything I wanted to show. These are just an example. These are nothing to do with developments or making any special pieces out of metal, but that will be soon. Then uh, see you next time in the next video.